P-Dub. Hey, what are you doing? Good afternoon, everybody. Grandpa Adler Farms, how are you? Hey, before we go do chores and head that way, let's go take a look at the uh, chickens first, okay? And then I'll tell you what we're gonna do today and what I've already got done today and show you a couple things that we've been planning on doing. We got those done. You should be, you should be worn out like I am today. If my voice sounds a little bit weak, whew, the last couple of days we've been going hard. Anyhow, let me, let's look at the chicks. Uh, okay, the other day I did this and one of them jumped out, you know? Hi, how are you? Hi there. They got some really great colors, that's for sure. Now see what happens is they go to the other end. They hide it. I put an extra water in there. And it doesn't take but about two minutes and they kicked shavings in that water and I clean that out two or three times a day. There we go. There we go. Can you see that? There we are. Yeah, those white ones are beautiful. Just beautiful little white and gray ones down here. See that? Oh, we got that. It easy does it easy. And they're 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 so tall now. You know they jump and they bang their head on top of this thing. <laughs> Some of them have little uh, like these little white ones here. Uh, they've got uh, fur hair, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, they've got feathers on their feet. So I think that's. Yeah, they, he's got, I think uh, Cowboy has uh, some feathers on his feet. Now, why are they still in there? Okay. Number one, we got to make sure it's above 50 degrees consistently outside. Last couple of nights, it's got 250 de degrees. So that's too cold out there. Number two, some say put them out in four weeks if it's 50 degrees. Well, consistently and above, and it's not. So then you put them out in about six weeks. We've got about a week and a half, two weeks left before they're six weeks old. You know, there's 15. I know it's, it's, it's not super crowded, you know. I'm sure they're antsy to get more room, and we're, you know, I'm anxious to get them out here too, but I want to make sure it's right. I don't want to be out here and get too cold. They've got to be fully feathered, you know, no fuzz. I think most of them are by that stage, but here in the next couple of weeks, uh, we'll, we'll, get them, we'll get them out here, and I'll show you what I did out here too. Also, I got another project done that I had asked you to remind me of last week and hold me accountable. Finally got that done, so that's two. But I got something done almost completely today that I'm gonna have Grandma show you right now before we go feed the animals. Then I'll show you how much progress I made since I made that little video earlier today, okay? So I'll have Grandma show you that. As part of the video today, Grandma's already showed you me starting on the fence over here and putting it up. The rest of the fence that I want is horse fence, just like that other. A little harder for them to climb, you know, small openings, can't get their head through it, very little can get in. The problem is, I don't want to go buy more. I've already used what we had left over this horse fence here runs this this is the original fence that chad and i put up right along here it goes all the way to that man gate down there on the north end and i want this fence and i'm going to take it and use it to finish the border over there and i've got plenty however if when i take this fence down this opens up everything and, and it'll have a big have an opening down there on that end and you know who if they discover it can be roaming free now i do not think they're going to come through here when i move this fence and run away i think the worst case scenario which is not bad they would just start eating this right in here which would be their new area but they're going to be like uh kids in a candy store here in just a minute if they discover this, we'll see what they do. Right now, they're still munching on that old tree that I cut down and they're eating the bark. So let me get going here and we'll see what happens and I'll show you what they do. Look, that didn't take long. 
There's Batman. He's over. He figured it out. Look at P-Dub. Is that okay to do? Is that okay, Grandpa? Can we come over there? Come on, buddy. Come on, P-Dub. Huh? I think we'll be fine. I'm going to just let him go. I'm going to let him go. Come on, P-Dub. Come on, Biggin. Go on. There we go. Fox, you better figure this out. Oh boy, look at that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, see they got all this out here. So I need to keep going, folks. All right, and then we'll check back and I'll show you how far they make it in. Miss Kitty, I'm coming your way. You better get out of the way. Look out, I'm coming. Here I come, you better go. Miss Kitty, I'm coming at you. Watch out, hey, look out. Look out. What's the matter? Yeah, now she's been gone for about five hours, folks. And she appeared from down where the goats, where the old goats are sleeping, you know, down by the old chicken coop. So maybe them kitties are down there. Hi, honey, I know. Okay, well, that's awesome. So it goes all the way to here. Looks like I can take it to this pole right here. That gives me, I put these poles each six feet apart. This here, I did this morning. So you got this all up here. I put all these T-poles in last night and I pounded them again this morning. Just gave them a little extra, uh -uh, you know what I'm saying? A little something, something. But yeah, this is going to be awesome. Hi, Miss Kitty. Yeah, you can't get through there, can you, honey? Yeah, well, I see she can't get through here. I know it. She can get through here. There you go. And then she goes through there. Uh, this that I put in that runs down here, this I'll pull out. That's all going to come up. And then they got from the porta huts way over there by the pigs. And then they come way down here. That's going to be such a real nice area for him. Fox, he's late rolling in the ashes. He still has not figured out that he's... I'm, oh, my gosh. i got to go get him. i tell you what. If that boy had a brain, he'd take it out and play with it. He'll figure it out in a minute, I guess. Here he comes. Yeah, buddy. Come on, man. There we go. Finally. Oh, he stops right there. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Go for it. Go for it. There we go. Now he's over there. All right. There we go. You boys hang around up here and Grandpa will go finish the rest of this, okay? Does my heart good to see him in there getting all that fresh green stuff. Really, really does. P Dub. Hey, what are you doing? Come here. You found the only hole. Come here, honey. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. This is the good stuff. Hey, buddy. Come on, buddy. Here. Here we go. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. There's some green. Here we go. Come here, honey. Come here, P-Dub. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Hey. I know, honey. Come here. Here. Haven't you known me all your life? Huh? Had a boy. Here, here, I'm not gonna grab you. Unless you make me. There. All right, come here, buddy. Come on, come through the hole. Come here, it's right here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Atta boy. Yep. Come on. Come on, right here. Here we go, buddy. Hey, come here. There you go. All right, come on. All right, through the hole. Come on. Atta boy. A little more. Now see, that wasn't it. There you go. Here, now that you're in. Here, you want this? You want some? You okay, you boy? You're, he, he don't know where to go. Where's your buddy? Their brothers are over there, hon. They're right there. Here, come here, here. 
I'll give you a little more. There we go. Okay, there you go. You're fine. That's been a really big deal, making more room for the goats and whatever else we might get one of these days. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see. Then we're going to see. So, yeah, I'm very excited about that. Let's go feed some birds. Hi, birds. Birds, are you tired? I don't know if you're not tired. Grandpa's tired. I'm here to tell you right now. I'm here to tell you right now. Let's get you some scratch. Yeah, afternoon scratch. It is, uh, what is it today? 75, I don't know, 70, 72. It's, per, it's very comfortable, very, very, very nice out here today. It's supposed to be the next few days. And we needed that uh, nicer weather to get some things done around here. Things have been backed up, you know it. So we got, got some stuff done. Here we go. I'll throw this scratch out here. And, and if they don't, what they don't eat, the wild birds come and eat. So it does get eaten, doesn't it, girls? Yeah, but now they look at that scratch and go, hey, you know what we want? Wormies, and we want eggs, okay? Let's, we'll do, we'll, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, okay? You ready? Let me go turn the water on. Come, you come with me? You wanna dance with me? <laughs> you see them? You see them over there? <laughs> they don't. They do nothing, man. Somebody said the other day, say, "Hey, I don't think those chickens are ever going to learn to wormy dance." No, they don't care. No, not a bit. Let's get the water on. Oh, here we go. Hi, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Girls, girls, girls. Come on, let's come on in here. Here we go. There we go. All right. Let's get the wormies first, shall we? Hey, you know what? Do we want to do a mouse chase today? If I put you over here on this side, okay, and we get ready, you think if I just barely lift that up, sis, that we could catch that mouse today? I know he's under there. He probably has, he probably thinks we're never going to chase him around again. You know what? For sure. Oh, there's Miss Gray. There's Miss Gray. Blondie? Goldie, come here. There you go, see us. Oh, yeah, there we go. Is that good? Ellie Mae, hmm? Yeah. Ginger, Lucille, Mary Ann, Reba, Laverne and Shirley, Goldie, Blondie, Lil Red, Harrietta, Daisy, Gray, Sassy, oh, we just, oh yeah, Miss Nellie. Oh, I gotta, I gotta tell you what Miss Nellie's doing. I'm letting it go. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see us. Okay, there we go. We'll go show you what she's doing. Can you guess what she's doing? Hey, girls, let's see if we can get a mouse. You ready? Okay, and I'm just going to do this. I know it's going to happen. They're going to, if I get over here and just raise it up like a, just like an inch, maybe. I won't have the camera right on the mouse. I'll just sit here like that for just a second. You know what? And I'll go this way. All right, watch out, hon. Grandpa's going to lift this up. Let's see if that mouse takes off. You ready? Here we go. Ready? Wait a second. Real slow. Anything under there? I don't see him. Hmm? If I go real slow, what happens? Is there bugs? See any bugs? Any, anything at all? He's not under there. Wow. I don't see anything. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of bugs. But they're on the board. Did you get them? That's alright. If we get used to raising that board, maybe it won't be so traumatic if you see that mouse. Oh, look at all them bugs. Goodness. Well, I wonder where that mouse is at, girls. Huh? I don't know. All right, well, that's a big deal. There you go. Oh, look at all them bugs. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Here. Well, it's okay. Let's go ahead and put it down. Yeah. Well, okay. Now, if we do this and we get used to that. Oh, very good. There you go. That worked out pretty well. All right, here. Let's go look and see how many we got. I didn't bring my apron. Uh-oh. There's one, two, 
Uh oh. I put them in my pocket. That's a recipe for disaster. Three, four, five, six, only seven today. All right. Slackers. Who's slacking? Hmm? Somebody's slacking. I got you. Okay, come on, let's go back out here. Come here. All right, come on, here. Watch out. Be careful to step on somebody. Here we go. There's one over here. Let's spread them out. Two and three. There we go. Here we go. Here we go, Gray. Now, let's go take a look at Miss Nelly. Folks, as you know, Miss Nelly I tell you, has uh, been laying eggs and I have been debating on whether to put it in the incubator. But I come out the other day, I've been observing her, and look, I'm not going to get too close. I'm going to go right here like this. Miss Nellie is broody, folks. Hang on a second here. Look, she is broody as she can be. There's at least, I think it's three under her. And she's been that way now for... I don't know, five, six, seven, maybe a week. She kind of started that. So she's, uh, she thinks she's going to hatch them, you know. It is not impossible. Maybe there's that one percenter under there that we talked about that could be a, a male without being fertilized. We'll see. But anyway, she's, uh, she's broody. I've just been leaving her, leaving her there, letting her do her thing. So, you know, maybe that makes her feel better, you know, more like a, like, you know, instead of going over there and picking them up all the time like I was, this way we'll leave them there and uh, let her kind of get the sense of sitting on an egg, huh? Wouldn't that bad be all right? That'd be all right. We can do that for Miss Nellie. She'd like that. Oh, your water's filthy. You've been standing in it and poo-pooing in it, but that's what you do. I know, because it's warmed up. Somebody want to look under here for bugs? I don't see any under there. I know. I know, honey. I don't think there's any in there. Sorry. Here, let's... Uh, you want to see if there's any under there? Ready? There you go. Oh, look. There you go. One, two. There's another one over there. Okay, you let him slide. You get him another day. All right, you run to this one? You ready? Okay. Uh-oh, sorry. Here we go. Ready? Oh, yeah, there's several. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, look, they're on the bottom. Okay, very good. All right, well, it's the begin. It's, it's a beginning. It's a beginning. Yeah, there we go. Very good. Uh oh, I just heard Magneto. He's on his way over. I just heard him flapping. For those of you that don't know, if you've not been around here for a while <clears throat> and not familiar with the Grandpa's Poultry Palace, okay, this is a, a 10 by uh, 20 right here. This whole thing here with chain link is 10 by 40. There's a wall. This is a 10 by 20 right here. All right. And we kind of section it off. And then I got another 10 by 20 over here. And it's all uh, covered with uh, welded wire or chicken, chicken wire, one of the two, as far as protection from overhead. But what I did here, I added... Let's see, I don't want to spook Miss Nellie. We need to go the other way. Hang on. So this is the main area they hang out in. But I added a 10 by 10 here and a 10, a 10 foot piece here and a 10 foot piece over there with a door. And this is going to be where the uh, newbies, the little chicks are going to come hang out initially. So I built this thing. Now remember, I am the, well, Shannon may take over as a pallet queen, but I'm the pallet king. Not as fancy as her, but I built this for their little coop, and this, I just put this tarp over it, all right? Because this is all going to be temporary. Once they get big enough to move into the other area, they'll go, and then, then we'll be able to separate also uh, who's going to take what as far as roosters or hens if I don't keep all of them, okay? Uh, I did, here's my question. There's 15 of them, you know, this wouldn't be someplace you'd leave them forever. But I put these two befores here, and I haven't fastened them down yet, because I want them to roost. And they will roost, I suppose, even though that they're even though they're really young. I guess they'll they will they know how to roost. 
you know, right now they just all huddle together under that, <laughs> that heat plate. So, how, you know, do I just arrange it kind of like this? Uh, I was thinking maybe if their, their, their claws or feet aren't big enough to wrap around, they would just sit on those and, and roost at night. So I didn't know whether to space them like that and put them about like that. Is that, is that look about right? Now, I haven't looked anything up. I know I could, but I thought maybe somebody could say, hey, that's good, or they won't roost or whatever. You know, I, I don't know. But this 10 by 10 will allow them to come in here. It is joined, is it adjacent to the big pen. There's Miss Nellie and they, the other chickens, they get up here. So they'll be able to familiarize themselves on two sides with the other birds without making direct contact. And I am going to take some chicken wire and put up all on the inside here and on the outside over there uh, so that they can't get out, okay, or, or nobody can, you know, peck through. So I think it's like 36 inches tall. So I'm going to separate them from ch with chicken wire. So this, and it, I got welded wire up here. We're good from predators all around. This is going to be a great place for them. I'm really excited about that. Then when they're, when they're acclimated completely, I could either leave this as a place that they may come hanging out, you know, open this door. Then all I got to do see is just open this door. And then they got all, I mean, it's a, they, they have quite the uh, huge area to roam around in inside without even going out into the yard so really excited about that and i've been leaving this i've been, I've been leaving this door open and and uh magneto and the girls go in there and and check things out they hang out in there so it's kind of pretty funny but anyhow that was one big project i wanted to get done we got to get that done all but the chicken wire that won't take me 20 minutes 30. i'll get that wrapped around here in the next couple of weeks then we're ready for the little birds to go out there. I'm really excited about that. They're really outgrowing that thing in there. Now, have you noticed anybody missing? Miss Kitty, she's missing. So I don't even know if she'll show up or not. She'll be gone about five hours today. Okay, so, uh, you know, and then she shows up and then she disappears. So hoping you're all right about the kitties. Hello, goats. Look at them. See this ash, this is the ash a burn place and they both they love to lay in those ashes you know all of them do now they are probably worn out also because they have been exploring you know i showed you what they did when they first went in that down there <laughs> they've been going all over that place following me around spilling my zip ties that i was using just picking up my gloves and that one right there he thinks he needs a pair of gloves on his hooves so he's throwing my gloves around and Oh, they've just been such good help, though. You're such a good boys. You're such good boys. You're big help. Oh, you're poo-pooing. Thanks. Poop and walk. That's what we're going to call you. Poop and walk. There we go. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Yeah. You're the leader, Fox. Keep moving. Wag that tail. He's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. Yep. Yeah, they're worn out. They are worn out. They've hardly eat any hay, eaten any hay today. Eating the bark of that tree, and between that and the the uh, new area over there, the boys let me go here and uh, let's let me go do the little piggies first. Let me do the piggies, and then we'll show you. Everybody got something today. You may have already just seen it just now. Everybody's got something. I want to see it? Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta -da. I bought a 10 by 12 heavy duty tarp. Last year I, I was uh, kind of was light duty, it was, it was tearing on me, you know. So I put up uh, one, two, three T posts, strapped her down here, okay, and the water should run off here and then back into the wallow if it rains, all right. But yeah, I'll show you the other side of it here in a second. Sisters, oh, you've been in the mud. You've been in the mud. Look at them faces. Look at that face right there. Look at that face. Only a grandpa could love that. Huh? You think so? Huh? You think so? Oh, look at that. Oh, girls. Okay, girls, let's get down. Hey, let's get down. Okay, Miss Lola's hungry. All right, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up, back up honey. Back up. Okay, just a minute. I got you. All right, come, here. come on, let's go. Okay, back up, girls. Don't hit my legs. I didn't wear my long boots. I don't want to get near, near, near. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I think I made it. I think I made it. Here, Miss Lola. Here you go, honey. Woo. Here we go. Hey, no, Bella, Olivia, honey. It's right here, babe. Right here. There you go. There you go, right there, honey. Okay. Everybody been in the mud today? Yep, you have. You have, you have. You have. Okay. Let's show everybody. Yeah, see how far this comes out here. So there's pretty much shade all the time. So if they don't want to lay in the water, they can still lay in the shade. And even in the later part of the day, I think there'll still be shade and they won't have to lay in the sun when they're in the water. And by then, maybe it'll be, you know, a little more cooler. But also, uh, two things about that, it helps that water not dry out so fast. Yeah, but they, uh, at least I like that. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. So yeah, I raise this up on this end and then that water should run off that way. Now, I know it's going to get windy, but I think this one's heavy enough duty it won't tear, so. Yeah, I like that. Aha, ta-da. I like it that uh, just doing those things for the animals like that, you know, I know they like to lay in that mud, but they don't want to be in the hot sun. The water won't get hot now. You know, it's nice. What else did we do? Oh my goodness, check this out. In order to have enough T-posts for the fence, uh, for the goat pen, the expanded goat pen, I took their, uh, remember this, uh, those of you who may not know, I put uh, Bella and Olivia in a uh, 16 by 32 pen over here for a couple of months. And they got to know Lola through the fence. And that way there wasn't any issues when, they, when I finally let them into the area with her. And I, I'd left that up thinking maybe I'd put something else in there, but I ended up not doing that. Now they've got this entire pasture to roam around in. The grass, this is a lot of fescue here. It's already seven, eight, nine inches tall. They love to go down there, it's nice and soft. They just, they do great over here. They just do wonderful. Update on Mr. Charlie. I have not heard anything yet, but I will check on him and let everybody know next time we get together, okay? All right, boys, here we go, come on. Earlier today, I had to give them, well, watch this, P-Dub got out didn't you p-dub huh you got out didn't you buddy where's batman oh he's up there and i had to lure that little stink back in all of them well i had to lure him back in with some grain and when i did that they all had to have a little touch of it so i'm only going to give them about half a cup today because they've already had plenty and they're not going to like it but that's that's how it is we're not going to we're gonna get too much here i didn't not quite enough for you here you go buddy all right, so that's good enough. Okay, yeah. I had one little gap, one little gap that I had, and that's where Peter. That's where you just saw Peter got out. But grain train them, get them back in. You know. But oh my word, little walkabout for the P-Dub man. Kitty, what you doing? Well, there, there she is. Speak of the, speak of the one right there. Where you been? Now look, here's the deal. Grandma's guessing that they're somewhere under here. I don't know, but she does kind of come from this direction. And just now, here we are down here, and boom, she, she, whoa! That is a no-no, young man, chasing that kitty. Don't you do that. What got into you, Fox? Well, I remember, Grandpa, she jumped on my back. Let's see where she goes. Is she gonna go underneath there? No way, sometimes she'll lay right there in that shade. There, no, yep, she's gonna lay right there. But see, now I don't know if her little ones are under there and that, and she just likes to lay in that area or what. You're all right, kitty. See her right there? So anyway, that's kind of where uh, she hangs out. Maybe they're under there, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really looked for them under there. Come here, hey, come here, Batman. What are you doing up there, buddy? You got your treats. Hang on a minute. Oh my. Oh, hang on, boys. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Here, buddy. Here. You eating up there? Hmm? Here. Hang on. Here we go. Right there. <laughs> Batman. He's a... All right. Hang on a minute. Uh-oh. Hang on. Do I... I got one of my... Uh-oh. My short one? Here, you take that one. All right. There we go. All right. There's... That's it for everybody. We're good. We're good, buddy. You guys have had plenty of food today, okay? Let Grandpa get his eggs, okay? 
You ready? Can I get up here and get my eggs? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to climb up there with you. I just want me. You're fine. You're okay. Oh, what? There's, okay, just two. All right, that's good. It's been a couple of days, but that's good. Okay, there we go. Thanks, boys. All right, guys, we're going to go show them our new, let's see, new play area. Want to? We'll go show it off? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. And see, here's the deal. We're walking down here now. The goat's coming down. There's Batman. Let me show you something. Okay. There's the old doghouse right there, okay? And there's the corner of the building right there where she was laying. She did not follow us down here. I'm tell I don't know if that's where they're at or not. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not going to nose around. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Okay? We're just going to see what happens. I don't know. I'm dying to walk down there and see if she's still there, but I better not. I better not. Okay, let's go. Here we go. All right, remember all that fence? I rolled it all up. All that fence up and down here. I brought it all down here. All right. And we have gotten all this fenced off now. Look at that. Man, outstanding. T-post every six feet. Made this nice and tight. Uh, it can be kind of tight. It's supposed to, you know, when animals get on it, they don't like this. So they, you know, they're least likely to climb on it. Okay. I do still have to put I would, to put metal clips here because I w wasn't, sh didn't, wasn't sure I had enough. So what I've done is I put them on the top and the bottom for now. Then I'll come back and put them in the middle. I got all this done down here. See, here's to the north. Okay, that's the driveway. I want to give you a sense of where you're at. The little man gate right back down there. Okay, and then we sit back here. And this is the whole area, all this green area they're going to have, okay? And we've already seen it a little bit. But now I didn't get this done because it was time to feed the animal, or feed the, crit the critters, feed the animals. I did not get all of these poles tied off yet. I've got a few left. And I just got ties in there right now. And it's, it's pretty, worked pretty good. I don't know if I'll finish this afternoon or come back tomorrow. Only area I did not have this horse fence for was from here over to here. So I've got a, I got a uh, cattle panel in here right now. And that'll, that will suffice. There's welded wire across the top here. There ain't nobody getting out of that. See, and it goes all the way over here. And then it comes back up here. You all know where you're at now? And I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And that really, really increases, as you can see, increases their area considerably. Now all I have to do, like I said earlier, take this fence down. I went ahead and cut this piece right here out. I may or may not do that tonight. I don't know. But, uh, so that'll all be down. And the cool part about it is I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I don't know, 10, 12, 10, 12, 13 T-posts now that I can use somewhere else. So everything's getting reused and reused. For this area here, that will be about the, as big as I'm going to make it until, if, if Mr. Charlie and I work it out next year, I won't do it now because it's too, everything's starting to grow up and turn green and I don't want to get in the weeds and mess with all that, start getting hot. I want to take that from that little man gate all the way as far as I can west and it will expand that Oh man, I think that might be even a one and a half times as big as this. That would be really awesome next year. Which would allow us to do quite a bit more with some different animals, you know. One of our things is space right here, so that would be quite incredible. Yes, indeed. So that right now does it right there. I think you've updated on everything, folks. Good morning, Miss Kitty. How are you? Say hi to everybody. Morning, boys. To end this video, I wanted to come down here and do it where we ended up uh, last night. I wanted to do a quick inspection as we walk along and check the fence here, make sure there were any, any breaches or anything. The boys stayed in, obviously. Miss Kitty comes and goes as she pleases, don't you, girl? Y'all been major encouragement, big help. I felt really good after reading all these comments, so we'll just kind of see where it goes. We hope she still has the kitty somewhere, okay? But anyhow, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Big moves, expanding, 
We're going to keep going. We're still considering more animals, all right? Grandma and I are in the, in, we're having discussions and high level meetings about it. Beautiful sunrise to leave you with. Thank you all very much. Appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for your prayers. We're praying for you. You all have a wonderful day today. And until next time, goodbye, everyone.